Hey y'all, this is Michelle from SLP Full Disclosure. I wanted to share some really exciting news with you guys. AMN Healthcare is thrilled to announce their $5,000 biannual scholarship, and it is now open for submissions. So if you are a physical therapist, an occupational therapist, a speech language pathologist, or a school psychologist, please visit the link in our show notes and make your submission by December the 15th. A personal essay that reflects on your experiences, your mentors, and anything that has shaped your goals and passions for helping others. Hey, y'all. Welcome to SLP Full Disclosure. I'm your host, Michelle. And the first thing that I wanted to talk about today is something that's really super exciting. I am going to be attending the 2024 ASHA Convention in Seattle, Washington. I think in our last podcast, we sa- I said that the dates were December the 3rd through the 5th, but they are not. Here's the correction. The ASHA conference is going to be in Seattle, Washington, December the 5th through the 7th. And I'm going to be attending along with many other members from our AMN team. We would love for you guys to come by and visit. There's going to be someone from all of our different areas. If you are interested in teletherapy, if you're interesting and interested in travel, whatever you may be interested in, if you just wanted to find out more about our company and about AMN, please come by and visit us because I promise there's going to be someone from our team there that will be able to answer any question that you have. And I'm super excited about being there and hoping I get to meet some of you guys. So on today's podcast, we're going to be talking about something that is kind of a buzzword out in the world right now, and it's called AI, artificial intelligence. I think that that's something that everyone has been hearing a lot about in the news. I mean, everywhere, everybody's talking about AI, AI, AI. So I wanted to come on, and this is going to be pretty short and sweet, because really the purpose of this podcast is just to open up the conversation. And what I want to talk about is the role of AI in the world of speech language pathology. So if there are speech pathologists out there who are probably younger than me and probably already utilizing AI in their practice, um, I want you guys to let me know what you're using and how you're using it because it's something that I'm really interested in, and I've done a lot of research on it. In my research, I found out that there are a lot of pros and there are a lot of cons, but what we're going to be talking about today are just a few of the pros and cons that kind of really stuck out the most to me. As you know, speech pathologists develop very personal relationships with their clients, and I think that the number one thing that was really interesting to me was that I think I'm afraid that AI is going to depersonalize that therapy. It's going to take away that that human connection, that personal connection that we have with our clients and with our families. Um, We really get to know our clients. We get to know their families. We know all of the intricacies. We know about their family dynamic. And AI is really going to take away a lot of that personal connection that we have with our clients. Another con of AI that I think was really interesting was just the compliance, just the ethical compliance, because AI is only going to do what it's trained to do. So in order to utilize AI, we're going to have to be inputting that data. So where do we draw that line? How do we not provide too much information that it crosses that boundary with HIPAA, but providing enough information into that tool? that it's giving us what we want back. Another con is, I think, just the over-reliance on technology. Are we using technology too much? Um, Because we're in a day and age where you can get Wi-Fi really everywhere you go. It doesn't matter where you are. If you're on an airplane, if you're out in public, if you're at Walmart, you can get connected to the Wi-Fi. But are we relying too heavily on technology just in general? There were a lot of pros. There were a lot of things that, you know, AI could really help speech pathologists in their delivery of services. One of those was improved access to care. So for those people who live in underserved areas, there are automated speech assessments. There are teletherapy platforms that allow speech pathologists to connect to those families who would otherwise have to wait, you know, weeks or even months for a certified speech pathologist to come out and work with their family. Another um, another pro was that it can process a large amount of data 
in a very short amount of time. And I think that as speech pathologists, we all know that the four-letter word in speech is data. How do we take that data? How are we utilizing that data? What are we doing with that data? But like I said, it's only going to be able to do what we give it. So we're still going to have to to use these tools to input those notes um, and give it the information that we want it to process. But I think that it could be really helpful in processing a large amount of data really, really quickly um, and giving us, you know, being able to look at it and give us ideas on how to change that therapy, how to change, you know, just looking at those intricacies of what's going on in those speech patterns or in those language patterns. And I think that it's going to help. I think another pro that I read about was that it's really good with helping with some of those housekeeping things, scheduling, being able to do your billing, and just the documentation piece that we don't often have a lot of time to do. There are AI tools out there that are going to be able to help us do those kinds of time-consuming administrative tasks, um, do them very quickly. And I think that that would be a game changer for us. So, I mean, I think that when we're looking at AI and we're looking at how we're going to use it in our therapy, if you're already using it, if you're thinking about using it, I think that the key is going to be balance and just making sure that we're using it to help us in doing those things that take a lot of time, like the scheduling and the billing and the documentation, processing that data, um, but not relying too heavily on it so that it interferes with that personal connection that we are having with our families. So this was a very short episode. Um, AI is not something that I'm very confident in. I don't have a lot of knowledge in it. And the information that I got, I really got from ChatGPT. I typed in pros and cons of of using AI and speech pathology, and it gave me this laundry list of things. But I think those were the things that really stuck out to me. Um, And the key to using AI in therapy, I think, for speech pathologists is just like I said, it's just using, it's just that balance, making sure that we're not relying too heavily on it, making sure that we're utilizing it in a way that is still compliant with HIPAA, that we're not providing too much personal information into these tools um, that could then be disseminated anywhere and everywhere. Um, And then that we're just making sure that we're, we're keeping that human connection and we're keeping that personal touch with our families. So if you guys are using AI in your therapy practice, please let me know. Let me know how you're utilizing it. Let me know um, what you're using and how it's helping you. Or if you have found something that is really great and wonderful, please share it with us. So thank you guys for joining today and we hope to see you soon. Thank you for tuning in to SLP Full Disclosure. You can learn more about this episode and our show on our website at amnhealthcare.com. If you enjoyed this episode, share it with a friend and subscribe to our show on your favorite podcast platform. You can also find show updates and SLP opportunities on our Instagram at AMN Allied. Special thanks to AMN Healthcare for making this show possible. See y'all next time.